Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Kerbal Space Program. So today we are making a rocket that can utilize the new engine, the Rapia engine. Wow. So this is an interplanetary SSTO bomber. Yes, you heard it. It's a bomber. Ooh. Um, so what we're doing here is just making the design. Of course, as you could see, just a couple seconds ago, we were placing a whole bunch of uh, air index there so that we can utilize the air intake mode of the Rapier engine. And of course, we are using the ion engines. So that's pretty good for this kind of design. And let me tell you guys, now, when I first, well, this is a bummer. I'll, I'll show you this part here, actually. So what we're doing here is we're pointing directly at the buildings. Now, you may be asking me, Heretic, why are you doing that? Why? Why not use the runway? It's because this thing is a bomber, and we are going to bomb the buildings. Yay! <laughs> so, yeah, this thing has a total of four bombs. Press spacebar twice. Uh, all the bombs are uh, jettisoned, and bang. There we go. Hits the building, and we are off. Um, so if you want to try out this design for yourself, go ahead. There's a download link in the description. Find it below. Let me know. <laughs> so yeah, it is a fun design to play around with. Now overall, with the Rapier engine, it's okay to use to get into orbit around Kerbin. It's fine to go to the moon or even Minmus. But to go any further than that, it's a bit tedious. I don't actually recommend using the engine. Now originally, when I first heard of the Rapier engine, and I heard that, yes, it's specifically for SSTOs. It's not very good because the amount of fuel that it consumes is very high. Now, when it comes to oxidizer mode, yes, it uses heaps of fuel. But it, 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 it's an advantage to have two in one. Yes, it is. But at the same time, it's just the fuel. It just consumes way too much fuel. And as an SSTO, you want to have something that's lightweight that can get to like any planet or any moon with this with this engine you cannot do that like it's better to have like for this design it would have been better to just have a jet engine and then the iron engines that does that the rapier engine is not needed for this design i added it in anyway just to test out this engine to see how it would go now yes you can use it to go to because in this instance we're actually going to go to dinner now of course, with this engine, we could we could have used it to, if we had enough fuel, to get off Duna after landing on Duna. Yes, you could have done that. But it would have been better to use the atomic rocket motor that actually saves fuel. And at the same time, it it does not consume like so much fuel that the Rapier engine does. It's just... Yeah, I learned a lot, a, a lot of lessons from this thing. I'm not going to use the Rapier engine very much. Maybe to just do an orbit around Kerbin, I'll do that. But for everything else, no, I'm not using it. I don't actually like it anymore. It's just not. And now this is the first time I've actually tested it. And I've actually looked at the statistics, the the, the details about this design. Uh, when, when you went in VIB or SPH, you can just right-click the, the part and it will tell you its details. Now, apparently it has a very high specific impulse, even higher than the atomic rocket motor from what I saw but again it just uses up a lot of fuel now if it was a, a, an engine that saved a lot of fuel then this would be a, a perfect part for the SSTO but again it's just not good for going a long distance so overall I'd rather just use a jet engine and then an atomic rocket motor instead of this thing just saying just saying so yeah and of course now, I'm using the ion engines. I, with an atomic rocket motor, I wouldn't have actually had to do that if I had more fuel on this design. The ion engines were just there to support the Rapier engine because it cannot do its thing. It cannot save fuel. So there we go. But anyway, guys, it's a life lesson learnt. All of, all of us know now the disadvantage about the Rapier engine. I mean, yes, it is lightweight. It's two in one, but the fuel consumption too high. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> now, maybe, maybe if you have like a really huge design that has a lot of fuel, it would be good. You would need to place down a lot of Rapier engines to, to do that because the thrust output is not too high when it comes to using the air intake mode. I believe it is, what was it, like 90 or something? I was getting 90 KN when I was flying this thing at, at one point. 
Uh, I didn't really look at it throughout the whole period. But anyway, so here we go, guys, at Duna and showing off the design. Look how pretty it is. It's a good design. It looks pretty good. Um, haven't really made SSTOs. I don't really make SSTOs, actually, overall. No, not very often. No. Anyway, so this one actually works, uh, but very time-consuming. If you guys... I'll give you guys a little tip. If you are if you have, like, a design that utilizes the Atomic Rocket Motor or Ion Engines, and it's taking you ages to get to a planet or a moon, what you can do is you can download a software called Cheat Engine. And what this software does, it essentially allows you to time warp the game. So when you have your engine on and it's throttled up, you can't actually time warp. But with the software Cheat Engine, you can actually time warp your game. So there you go. There's a nice tip for you guys. I've been using it. I used it for this. It just took way too long. Um, w without the the software, then I would have it would have taken an extra hour, maybe I don't know. But damn, it's very time consuming. So there we go. Just checking out Duna. Uh, what we are doing here is um, I actually uh, closed up the orbit to a certain point so that we could actually just capture a bit of the atmosphere so that we could slow down our descent and essentially just close up the orbit that we actually have. So, but that didn't really work. Um, unfortunately, I had to use the iron engines to do that because Duna doesn't have a very thick atmosphere and it, it doesn't doesn't have a thick atmosphere at all. And it slows you down, but barely, like barely makes a difference, really, just just the way it is. So, as you can see here, I am using the iron engines. The iron engines are indeed on, as you can see. There's a little little blue light at the back there, and the solar arrays are extended. Um, the only thing I would change in this design is maybe the, the solar array placement and I wouldn't actually use the, the Rapier engine. Instead, I would just use the Atomic Rocket Motor. Just saying it, guys. Atomic Rocket Motor is fine or the, the jet engine. Perfectly fine. Now, the jet engine, in this case, or even go, if you want to go to Lathe, the engine, jet engine is not very good for that case. But at least with the Atomic Rocket Motor, it would be able to get you off Duna or Lathe, stuff like that. Now, the Rapier engine would have been good for Lathe, given that it saved a lot of fuel, but it doesn't save fuel, as I've mentioned about a hundred times now. So there we go, guys. A big smash, unfortunate smash, my fault. Uh, did not have SAS on, as you could see. So yeah, that caused a bit of an issue. If SAS on, was on, then would have made it. Now, whilst I was making this design, I thought, Hmm, should we use parachutes? Yes, no, maybe. I said no. Why? Because it's more challenging, more exciting, and uh, more frustrating in the end. <laughs> but yes, what I'm doing here, I am using the wrapping engine, but damn, it uses a whole bunch of fuel. Um, so what I'm just throttling up every now and then so that we could continue our descent forward. Because the atmosphere is so thin that we're just falling straight down at one point. It's barely helping. So yeah, good thing I had SAS on on this part because that definitely helped. And if you're wondering, Heretic, why did you take off the bombs at the start when we when you were first flying this design? I took off the bombs because they were too much, too heavy, just 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 dead weight, pretty much. Not helpful with this design. So, we, but we did make use of them. We smashed into the building. So there we go. <laughs> and of course, using the brakes. There we go. So in the past, I don't think we even had the option for brakes. And uh, it was a bit of an issue. What I used to do was I would uh, retract the smoggy bay so that we couldn't actually roll down a hill after taking a Kerbal out of the design. But that's that's all fixed. But still, I I always uh, get a little bit paranoid about that and retract the smoggy bays every now and then, as you will see in a moment. And now we are checking out the beautiful Duna. The very first planet I ever visited. It's amazing. Jebediah Kerman. And let me tell you guys, this guy is happy. Jebediah is very happy today. And raise, raise small give it. Yep, there we go. And it bounces. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good sort of thing to do. It's like to make sure nothing bad happens to your design so it doesn't roll away from you. But yeah, the, the, the brake option is implemented so you can still use that. So there we go. Jebediah is smiling like crazy. That is a big mouth, let me tell you. <laughs> That's alien. <laughs> so we're just flying around, pretty much done with this design. It works. Uh, we cannot get off Duna because 
as I mentioned, not enough fuel, but as well as that, the, you guessed it, Rapier engine is not very fuel efficient. And this flag is dedicated to the KSP team for all their hard work. And what I'm doing now is just having fun. Obviously, we can't get off Duna, as I mentioned, so instead we are going to fly around <laughs> and do nothing. But very good. Very good. A uh, good trip. Learned a lot. I hope you guys learned a lot about the Rapia engine. I sure did. Jeopardy is very happy, as we all are. Hope you enjoyed. And see you next time. Wow, this is this damn thing is fast. It's pretty damn cool. So there we go. As you guys see, the orbit there. And oh, now that's a nice cinematic right there. Hope you enjoy, guys, again, and see you next time. Bye.